Hello everybody and welcome to Graphic Intention. Today I am bringing you a time-lapse video that is almost start to almost finish. <laughs> um, as I, I don't know what it is with me and my start to finish videos, but I tend to lose clips and I don't know where they go. <laughs> I use the same program, I put them in the same location, I do all that good stuff and I still lose clips. So for lips like morphine, I lost the very first clip, which was the top left corner of the canvas and then the very last clip, which was the very bottom right. So I apologize for that. I am going to try and get better. Um, <laughs> just bear with me, I guess. Um, but this was Lips uh, Like Morphine by Dimer... <laughs> this is Lips Like Morphine by Diamond Art Club. And I got this during their February sale. It was a BOGO. And this was $52.95, but um, because it was half price, it only cost me about $26.50, which for Diamond Art Club is phenomenal. Um, it is a 52 by 70, which is slightly larger than what I like to do. But one of the things about Diamond Art Club is you don't get to choose what size you get. Um, as far as I know, uh, they pick the best size for the image and that's what you get. So I like that in my own personal opinion because I don't have to judge, am I going to get poor quality if I go with a smaller one or is it going to be really pixelated if I go with a larger one. I know that um, they've already done all of their homework so I appreciate that. Um, also there's no guesstimating. The price that you see, that's the price that you're going to pay because you don't have options. Um, so another couple of differences between Diamond Art Club and the other companies that I have experience with is their canvas. It is a thicker quality canvas, so it doesn't fold. I mean, even when you fold it, it doesn't crease. So I've never had to iron a Diamond Art Club canvas. The other two things that I've noticed about this canvas is the front has like a sparkle to it. It almost is like a s subtle glittery sparkle. And the back is very soft, fuzzy, velvety and the edges are scalloped a lot like the diamond dots canvas has that scalloped edge. In my own personal opinion, I think that all of that is unnecessary and if they did away with that and were able to lower the cost of the canvases, I would be like really, really happy um, because the end game is what the canvas looks like with the drills on it. You're going to lose the scalloped edge when you, um, you know, frame the image. You're going to not see that it the canvas has glitter or that it's got a fuzzy back once it's um, uh, framed and all that kind of stuff. So, in my opinion, I, I think that that's just unnecessary. Um, of course, Diamond Art Club is trying to set themselves apart from other companies that don't have the really nice canvas and don't have all that. Now, I'm not saying to make it any thinner. I think the thickness and that kind of quality is perfect. Uh, it's just the glitter and the fuzz that I'm not very impressed with. In fact, um, I've noticed that the back of the canvas, because it does have that fuzz, tends to pick up a lot of like extra dirt and dust and stuff like that. So um, when I was done with this canvas, I had to flip it over and run a lint roller um, over the back just to get it so that it didn't have all that stuff on it. Anyway, um, so that is probably a negative feature, I think, is that all the extras that they put into the actual canvas. Now, the good things is the image quality because they pick the size that they put for the canvas or the size of the canvas for the image I think that there's that's a really good service because the image quality was phenomenal I got to see all of the different details of her tattoos and the little swirls on her dress even the earring you could tell exactly what it was so I am super impressed with the quality of the image the um, the 
symbols were super easy to read um, so that was also a really good thing about the canvas um, the adhesive it seemed to be the same kind of adhesive I didn't notice a whole lot of difference um, it wasn't very slick so you could you can move the drills around but not like you know you push it and it goes sliding across the canvas so I think the adhesive was perfect now what sets in my mind what sets Diamond Art Club uh, apart from any other company that I've had um, access to is the the drills now in my opinion the drills and the way that the image looks when it's completed are the two absolutely most important factors because everything else can either be um, ignored like what the feel of the canvas all that stuff can be ignored once it's framed especially if you frame it in glass but anyway um, the drills because they are all uniform every single one of them is the exact same size and every single one of them has very crisp defined edges so there's no nubs or anything like that they all butt up against each other um, and they're very they're just very nice I am totally in love with their drills if I could I would order drills from Diamond Art Club and replace all of the drills for all of the other canvases that I've gotten with Diamond Art Club drills if that tells you how excited about the Diamond Art Club drills I am um, I did and probably one of the things that made me really love Diamond Art Club drills is the number 666 red drill I mixed in some of my old Huacan drills with the um, Diamond Art Club drills just because I wanted to see as you were drilling if I could tell that there was a difference and every other area of the canvas I was able to do my multiplacer and I had no issues I didn't have to go back and do any adjustments or anything like that but when I got to the 666 number um, I did have to do adjustments and I did have to pay a little bit more attention to uh, the sizing of the drills and I noticed that some of them were smaller and some of them were a little bit warped looking on the edges so those were definitely uh, who a can drills now I still used them so there are still who can drills in this canvas and with the finished product I can't tell uh, which was a who can drill and which was the Diamond Art Club drill so as an overall finished process I think that either one works but as you're working with it um, Diamond Art Club is definitely the way to go of course like everything else it's going to be cost as uh, an issue if you're okay with taking a little extra time and having to adjust where the drills are then the Huacan and all of those companies would be just fine um, but here you can see I did not have a whole lot of trash left over in this and I had a lot of the extra drills left over so um, super impressed with Diamond Art Club um, yeah so I think that that does it for this video thank you guys so much for tuning in I hope to see you next time have a lovely day bye bye